Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm trying to compare a 2019 Kia Carnival and a Toyota Estima. I'm gonna sell the Toyota Estima this afternoon, so I thought I'd make a quick video, hoping that someone will be finding this video helpful. The reason that I thought of take a video is um, I did have do some research and bit of a hard time in comparing between these two cars before buying. Um, so please excuse the mess in the garage and uh, it's a short video before the seller comes. Let's get into the video. Starting with it's a petrol 3.5 litre punchy engine. I like the initial pickup. It goes very fast in the beginning. Uh, whereas this the Kia Carnival, it's a bit sluggish because of course it's a turbo diesel. Um, I started loving the Kia by doing this. I fit a throttle controller so it reduces the lag and it goes. But that Toyota Estima does not need a throttle controller because it's very punchy and I really loved it. And the price for the Estima, which was imported, I'm in Brisbane, in Queensland, in Australia. Uh, so it was uh, less than $20,000, whereas the Kia, which I bought as a used one, uh, it was more than $50,000. So just in comparing the price-wise, uh, this is way cheaper when comparing to Kia. Some of the things I really like, I like this white color, pearl white color. This is a bit of a creamy color, I would say, whereas the Kia has got a, what they call is a snow white pearl white color, which is a bit of an off white. Uh, they both are shiny, but this is fa my favorite color. Generally, the Tata Estima comes in a 215. The tire size is 215. That is the width of the tire. But when I bought the car, it has got a 235, so it is a bit more wider. Uh, whereas the Kia comes standard with a 235. Uh, I feel more grip on the Toyota Estima after putting this 235 uh, profile tires. Um, it was 45 when I bought the car, then I put a Michelin uh, Primacy 4 ST, which is very quiet and grippy. And I put the same on the Kia Carnival, same effect, very quiet and comfortable. So going on a corner, I feel very comfortable or grippy on the Toyota Estima because with compared to the size of the car, the wheel are really wide. Whereas comparing to this one, the car itself is really big, but the tire is okay. I might think of changing into a wider tire next time. Both has got sliding doors. Kia has got the one push button sliding door open function. Whereas this one is, you just need to hang it and there is a sliding door. One of the main differences is on the second row, it is very, the space, it's very spacious here. You can put a big basket or a two LED televisions or a big one. The space is really big, whereas in this Kia, you can't adjust the seat any further, so the sp space is a bit limited. I will show you what I'm trying to say. For example, this basket, this is the maximum width that I can fit here. Whereas in the second row, I have got a lot more space. So with the two kids, I had a big basket here on a long trip, keeping all the food, the cap, uh, jackets, everything. But when I bought this Kia, I need to find a smaller one, which, I, which is this one, so that I can fit in between here, or it be in between here. My Toyota Estima does not have a leather seat, and I absolutely love it. Whereas the Kia Carnival has got the leather seat. Uh, it's a bit hot in the Brisbane summer, but luckily mine is a platinum, so it has got a ventilated and heated seat. So it's a kind of okay. But if I had an option, I would definitely avoid the leather in the Kia. Some things which you probably will never see in any of the reviews is 
Toyota Estiva, of course it's a smaller car when comparing to Kia Carnival because it's a proper 8-seater where mine is a 7-seat. There are 8-seaters available but mine is a 7-seater. The, with the uh, driving dynamics you need to keep in mind, even though the Toyota Estiva is smaller in size which makes it a bit easier for parking and turning, the turning circle for Toyota Estiva is really less whereas this one you can get it to the same sport of the Toyota Estima even this is big because it has got a very good turning circle so it can virtually go 45 or 35 degrees something so it's really good with the turning circle I'm really impressed with the Kia. Cabin noise and insulation both are really good um, I was really mind blown when I bought this 2006 which is 16 year old now which is this is 2021 December uh, the cabin noise is really equal to my 2019 so the insulation is both are same really good um, the interior appealing for me is a bit of estima because the carpets are lighter in color so does the seats so does the interior whereas the kiosk Whereas the Kia has got a darker interior all round, even though the seats are a bit uh, grayish in color. One of the major reasons I thought of buying a uh, Kia is, even though this is called as a seven seater, my third row seats, which is completely folded down, the third row middle seat does not have a proper seat belt like this. So, which means legally or comfortably, I can put only six passengers, two in the front, they got the proper seat belts, two in the middle, they got the proper seat belts, and two at the back. So it's like a six seater, which is a bit of a shame. Whereas Kia has got proper eight seat, two, three, the third one is removed, and the third one middle seat belt is here. And of course, the three seats at the back. So what I was trying to say is that in Toyota Estima, the third row middle seat does not have a proper three-point seat belt. It's just a belt around the waist, which is not safe enough. Steering feel. I love the or Estima again because it, the steering is a bit smaller. Uh, I believe the Kia Carnival steering is for a bigger person, not for a smaller person like me. So steering wise, I like, but of course the Tia, Kia is a very much advanced um, with lots of technologies. And one of the other reason I thought of uh, buying a Kia Carnival over a Toyota Estima is because of the navigation system, because it is purely um, in English, whereas Toyota Estima, since it is a imported one, it's purely all or everything is in Japanese. Of course, I can change the headset to a new Android or Apple CarPlay system. I'm not interested in changing that one because it will mess up with the reversing camera system sometimes. Both has got the rear wiper and the rear uh, wiper fluid, which is great. Uh, rear visibility, I will. I'm happy with the both of them. Uh, of course, since the Kia is a new, it has got an autonomous boot opening with the one press switch. Whereas the Toyota Estima, you can fit that in. Some of the Toyota Estima do have that function, but not mine. Yeah. One another major reason why I went to Kia is because. This is like a all-wheel drive. The Toyota has got an all-wheel drive, just like a RAV4. So the problem is, the good thing is it has got an all-wheel drive, so you don't need to worry about a slippery road, which really helped me in a couple of situations. But the main problem is, it does not have a spare tire anyway. Instead, you have got some spare tire uh, fixing kit, which will come inside there. So. In a country like Australia, going f with the family on a long trip, and if I'm getting a flat tire, I basically stuck. If I can't fix the tire, or if the road service, roadside assistance is too far away, I need to wait for them. Whereas Kia has got not the best, 
but at least a space saver tire and uh, behind the uh, driver's seat so that's a peace of mind at least i can change it going to the push button start system my kids are old enough so that they can press by themselves and get it to the car seat whereas uh, toyota does not have it you can fit it and as an aftermarket but i don't really want to fit that in so it's really easy with the kids to have this one push button startup whereas toyota you need to always do this one to get the car in and out lights fog lights headlights high beam i changed all the lights the high beam is still hrd apart from the sorry apart from the headlight which is hrd park light high beam and uh, fog light they are all led once i changed it made a massive difference and it's through the roads where i drive rurally on a dark time of the day early in the morning so in the afternoon the visibility is awesome before i changed the light with the stock lights it was not that uh, confident giving driving i should say whereas kia it comes with an led headlight and led fog light it doesn't make a big difference with the led fog light even though it is an led whereas kia uh, toyota estima once i changed the fog light to led it makes a huge difference if you are a person who is going for a rural drive in the dark time of the day early in the morning or afternoon so when i drive kia even though i put the fog light yeah it does make a little bit of a difference with the visibility uh, toyota it made hell lot of a difference fuel efficiency i'm really happy with the kia it's a diesel and it goes for a long drive whereas the toyota estima for the Toyota Estima, I was getting around 500 to 550 before the yellow. Oh, it's just a Japanese. It's giving the date and year every time when you get into the car. So, since it's a punchy and V6, Toyota Estima definitely take lots of um, fuel. So, when I was going for a long drive with my family, um, I have I end up in stopping on most of the petrol stations very often whereas my friend who has got a um, diesel engine just like a Kia Carnival and others they were having a better time so that's another reason why I switched from a petrol V6 to diesel one other thing which I really like with the Toyota Estima is say you're getting your kids in there is a light switch just here see from here you can turn it on and turn it off whereas Kia does not have any switch or lights here it's all in inside not even a switch here so even if you press it you need to get your hands all the way in it sounds silly but it's such a handy thing on a night when you want some lights in so you just you don't need to go inside or anything no to the front we can just get it from here so overall, um, will I buy another Toyota Estima? No, I don't, because I did have some hard time looking for the spare parts uh, because it is a bit of a different to Toyota Tarago. We had a similar car in Australia, Toyota Tarago. Same engine, same specification is available, but some of the parts were a bit difficult to find. Um, one of the major thing which I thought of switch is the third row seat belt. Um, accessibility of having a spare tire and I can't connect my phone for streaming YouTube music into the car it may sound silly but it makes a big difference for me and my kids um, so those are one of the few reasons and of course the fuel efficiency is another thing um, so I like here because the sound system is great it is um, good mileage uh, fuel efficient is powerful or well, if you want to overtake um, on a motorway mm, it's a bit more spacious of course and a bit more comfortable because this is a 16 year old car and this is just a two or three year old car uh, so the suspension and everything is fairly good and also Kia has got a Australian specific uh, tuning done so that's the end of the video um, so just a quick comparison before 
my buyer comes and pick my favorite Toyota Estima. Uh, hope something you must have found helpful. If you have any uh, doubts, please feel free to ask. Um, I will try to answer promptly. Thanks for watching. Bye.